Tony, former chief, you want to talk about your Chiefs on a day that Patrick Mahomes doesn't even throw a touchdown and they face the number one scoring defense, they just roll again. You know, I think that's what's most surprising about it, going against that Jacksonville uh, Jaguar defense like Terry just talked about. You would expect that they'd be able to slow him down, and they did. He didn't, he didn't throw a touchdown pass, Patrick Mahomes. He had two picks. Yet and still, they go out there and they put 30 points up on that, on that defense. That, is, that, that spells disaster for other teams around the NFL. This is a really good football team, especially in Arrowhead Stadium. And, you know, I, I kind of look at that Giants game against the Carolina Panthers, just seeing how they were going to respond. Because <laughs> they had a big week. I mean, Odell Beckham came out, and everything kind of hit and said, hey, I don't know if this person's responsible, that person's responsible. I don't know if I'm happy in New York City. But in this game today, I mean, his team – you got to get out of your own way sometimes to be successful. You know, the punt return that ended up being a touchdown. Eli had his he had the two picks where it looked like he just picked it up and threw it bad without pick, looking at the coverage. Yeah. <laughs> and if they can get out of their own way, you have a good chance of winning. And right now, they're in a hole and they got to dig themselves in. And Pittsburgh's defense has been under fire all season long. They hold Atlanta's high-powered offense to 17 points. T.J. Watt, three sacks, six on the season. And the interesting thing on that final drive for Carolina – McCaffrey runs for what appears to be a first down. It signaled a first down. It, to me, it looks short. It and, and Cam wisely gets them up on the line, clocks the ball, and Gano comes in and kicks a 63-yard field goal. Amazing. But that Amazing. should be reviewed. And there were some other calls oh. in that game that, oh. you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> One of L.A.'s football teams is now 5-0, and oh, thanks in part to another big day from Todd Gurley. The Los Angeles Rams, such a complete football team. Going up to the Seattle Seahawks to play there. But that tw- that's something serious. Wow. So to get that win when Seattle gave them their best shot and to be able to handle that adversity. And how about Sean McVay going for it on fourth down, first half, they get the touchdown after four. Uh, and then at the end of the game, they go for it on fourth down. But keep this in mind, though, going forward, Cooks and, and Cooper Cup are, are going to be out. It looks like they're going to be in concussion protocol. So this is a very good win for them, though. This is a very good football team. Yeah, they had 10 days off after that game on Thursday Night Football here on Fox against the Vikings. They win in a close game down the stretch. Same story for the Vikings, who were victorious today in Philadelphia. Kirk Cousins, <laughs> to me, is, is one of the more underrated players in the league. You know, Making people, que- people, people question him in Washington. Not people question the contract in Minnesota. He made so many big throws today while getting hit. And Adam Thielen has to be one of the most underrated wide receivers in football. Huge win for Minnesota. NFC Championship game was in the back of their mind, and I know they wanted redemption. We will wrap up right now, though, with who won the day. And one thing I can tell you is none of you, everybody on the pregame show with their picks went 0 for 2 today. Yeah. Except TB, who has one win. Which TB? I got the Chargers over the Raiders. Uh, Linville Joseph, defensive tackle for the Vikings, takes that fumble in the air, 64 yards for the touchdown. Kind of Got the old spark plug going for the Vikings. Congratulations, young man. That is impressive. I've got Crowell from the Jets. 215 yards. 219 on 15 carries. Sets a Jet record. I have Patrick Mahomes. Even though he didn't throw for a touchdown, he ran for a touchdown. It's just impressive to see a rookie lead. I mean, a second-year player lead the team the way that he's leading this team this year. Yeah, I'm going to go with the kicker. And obviously, the state of the NFL kicker right now, it, it could be summed up in one word. One word, fragile. Or, or fragile, as in, in, they say it in Italy. Um, <laughs> Graham Gano. <laughs> Graham Gano, the 63-yarder walk-off kick. One of the uh, tied for the, the longest what? in history. He gets the game ball. Win right. the game. He Real quick, it. Mayfield, it. Allen, Darnold, Rosen, all first-round picks. All won today, first time in NFL history, four rookie quarterbacks have ever won on the same day.